In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a Stripe account in Nigeria or from any other supported country. So the strategy we are going to be using in this video is going to be the US LLC Stripe account, basically. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So firstly, I'm going to be measuring the requirements you are going to need to set up this Stripe account. Then later, we're going to go ahead and set up this Stripe account. And if you stick to the end of this video, and I'm going to be showing you how you can get all these requirements. So first thing you are going to need is going to be the valid US address. Now, most people, I most of the video you are going to watch here on YouTube, they are going to ask you to use address from Shipito or all these free address. What will happen is that because those addresses are free address, you have limited access to them and it's not guaranteed that anytime you have a mail because sometimes you are going to have a mail from your company, you are, it's not guaranteed that you are going to get access to those mail and some of those mail might be a mail that is going to be very very important for you to have access to it and if you miss access to it, it might affect your company on the wrong run. So what I recommend is that you get a US address, like a premier US address. In most cases, you can get this address between the price of eight to like thirty or fifty dollars. But um, if you stay towards the end of this video, I'm going, I'm going to be talking about how you can get it between ten to fifteen dollars per month. Now, another thing you're going to need is going to be a US phone number. So for the US phone number, you can use app like Numero and other app you are going to find out there. So Getting a US phone number should not be that difficult. Now, another thing you are going to need is EIN. Basically, EIN is very, very important if you are setting up a Stripe account because without the EIN, your Stripe registration will not be able to win through. In fact, you will not be able to register the Stripe account. EIN is mandated when you are setting up a Stripe account. Now, in most cases, this EIN is not something you are supposed to pay for. But because you don't live in US, you might find it complicated to do it yourself. So most of the company that you are going to find out there are going to charge you to get this EIN number for you. But as I said earlier, towards the end of this video, I'm going to be revealing most of this thing, how you can get them done. Now, another thing you are going to need basically is LLC, that is your company itself. Then you are going to need a US bank account, like business bank account that is linked to your company. Or you can even use a personal bank account. It's, it's still going to work exactly the way it's supposed to work. Now you are going to need a valid ID card or passport, which is very, very important. The passport has to be your passport. So if you are using someone else's passport or ID card, like driving license, you have to get permission from that person and let them know the what you are using the ID card or passport for. Just give them full explanation so that they will not be in shock, like surprise that maybe you lie about it and they are not aware of what you are using it for. I will highly advise you that you tell them what you want to use the ID card for if you are using someone else's DT. But I will highly suggest you should use your own DT. If you don't have a passport, you can just go to the immigration office and get a passport. But if you know or if you know how to drive, you can just go ahead and get driving license. Those are the two most of the accepted documents by this company. Now the last thing you are going to need is your bank statement, not more than three months. So once you have all these things, you are good to go. But if you don't have it, don't worry. Towards the end of this video, I'm going to be sorting out how you can get it. So for you to set up your Stripe account, what you want to do is to come to stripe.com. Once you are here, just click on this sign in. Now on this page, you want to show down and click on this sign up right here. Now once you get here, you want to put your email address. You want to put your full name. You want to leave this country in US as it appears because you are going to be using your US LLC to form this, to create this Stripe account. So just leave it as us then once you do that just put your password and uh, go ahead and click on create accounts once you click on create account they are going to ask you to verify your email just click verify email then continue so once you click on that verify email this is where it's going to redirect you then you want to come here and click on this explore then once you get here you want to click on this um asset payments online or in person then i'm going to click that then click on continue with payments then at this point this is where i want to come here to this individual then click on this company then under this company i want to choose single member llc because i'm the only directors of the company so if you have multiple directors, you want to click on this multiple member llc so um let me just leave it so that is it just click on continue 
now this is where you want to put your business legal name that is the name of your llc then once you do that you want to put your ein as i said earlier if without your ein you will not be able to continue with this registration ein is very very important then once you do that you want to put your registered business address right here put the state the zip code then come over here and put the industry that you are in then under here you want to put your website url then once you get here you want to give the description of your product or your service if you offer a service you want to give the description of the service you offer here if you sell a product online maybe you are using this um stripe account for shopify store then you can actually put it here that you are using this stripe account to sell physical products online so i'm just going to go ahead and fill all this information so that we can continue so once i provide this necessary information i'm just going to click on continue now at this point this is where i want to put my full name my la my first name my last name so if you have three names you are going to enter the name yeah so you can see it say enter the name exactly as it's record on government agency yeah I so my name i'm going to put my full name right here then i'm going to put my the mail address is already here the, my i'm going to put my date of birth i'm going to put my home address then from here if i have a u.s phone number i can put the u.s phone number here but if i don't have a u.s phone number what i can do is that i can put my nigeria phone number i'm just going to come here then change the country to uh maybe like nigeria if i type nigeria you are going to it's going to pop up nigeria right here but since i have us phone number i'm just going to put my us phone number right here so this last part you can see that it said um last four digits of ssn because i don't have this i live in nigeria and i don't have this kind of document what i can do is that i can click here to provide a government issue id instead once i click there you can see that from here you can see that it's in us so i just come here depends on your country for me i'm from nigeria so i'm just going to find ng that is my the abbreviation of my country ng so this is ng right here so if i put ng you can see they are going to ask me to put my nin so if you are from other country like maybe like qatar you are from um ghana south africa they are going to put the relevant like id of your country right here because in my country it's nin in your own country it might be different in entirely so i'm just going to go ahead and put the my nin right here then click continue so right here is going to ask me to verify my personal information which is the nin i put earlier so i'm just going to say continue then right here is going to ask me how did i want to fulfill my order so I'm going to say within two weeks if i come here and pick within one month it's going to ask me how much am i expecting from stripe by annual like by year so i can put it but if i put two weeks then i can just click here and click on continue then from here it's going to show the abbreviation of my this is what customer is going to say when stripe charge them when i charge them and they send them the receipt this is what they are going to see so this is the abbreviation so from here again i can go ahead and put my us phone number you must put a us phone number as the customer support number that is customer support phone number it must be a us phone number so i said earlier getting a us phone number is not an issue if you go to numero maybe i'm going to leave the link in the description of this video you can get a us phone number there for as low as maybe like um four to seven dollars per month basically so i'm just going to put my us phone number so the address the company address is going to be the customer support address right here so uh my company is forming new mexico so you can see this is the address you can see this is not a regular address basically so you can get this address for as low as ten dollars or eight dollars depend on the functions of the address so once you get the address you can use it for your stripe um, registration and you can pay for this address monthly or you can pay for it annually basically so once i'm done with this i'm just going to click on continue right here so at this point this is where i want to put my uh, bank bank account to receive payment so i can either share share to find the bank account i want to use or i can just come here and add it manually so i'm just going to come here Add it manually so the account i'm going to be using in this video 
is going to be pioneer account so if you are from nigeria if you have a gig pay account you can use it if you have a um wise account you can use it if you have, if you have a wise business account you can use it. if you have a wise personal account you can use it so i'm just going to input the details and click on save all right so once i put the bank account the next thing i want to do is just to click on continue then at this point i've already uh enabled authentication app and sms on my account if this is your first time on this page it's going to ask you to enable one of these options so i'm going to advise you to go with this first option this authentication app then click on continue once you are done with that now under this um automated sales task calculation i'm just going to click on skip for now then at this point it's going to ask you if you want to contribute to the um, stripe climate blah 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 so you can um, choose to contribute one percent of your um, revenue or 0.5 or 1.5 or if you don't want to contribute at all you can just click here say no thanks so i'm just going to do that then at this point this is where it's going to show me everything i'll be doing so far so you want to make sure you go ahead and check all these details to make sure everything is correct so once you check everything and it's correct, the next thing you want to do is to click on this um, agree and submit. Alright, you can see from here that I have a red button which the payment is paused until the requirement is met. Provide customer details info for payout. So what I'm going to do right now is to click on this view. So what they want basically is for me to complete the um, registration, to complete the information. So if I come to this setting and I come to this account status, uh, you can see that the update customer information, that is update your business owner information, which is myself. If I come to this completed, you can see that the task is already completed, the business owner completed, but I still have active one here. So I'm just going to click on this start. So under this start, I'm just going to click on this updates. We could not confirm the name and the SSN provided review, blah, blah, blah. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to upload my file, which is my ID to verify this. So I've submitted the document. I'm just going to go back to dashboard. So if I come back to this setting, and um i come back to this account status you can see that i don't have any error message here again if i come back to this completed you can see that all this information has been completed so now i can use this account to start receiving payment because it's not fully verified now as i said earlier um the requirement to set up all this thing um let me go back to that document so you can see these are all the requirements to verify this thing so this US phone number, I said yeah, you can get it in, from Numero. I'm going to leave the link in the description. Why this EIN, I can get it for you. I can offer the service for you. I can also offer the service of this US address for you. The, if you want to get your own US address, when, we are, when I'm doing the registration, I'm going to give you the link to complete, to get your US address, basically. So for you to get your US address, for you to get a US address is about... 10 to 15 dollars monthly so that is about 120 dollars per annual so you just have to keep that in mind for you to get a us address like premier us address you need 120 dollars per annual or if you are going for the 15 dollars plan you are going to need around um more than 80 dollars per annual so for the ein i'm going to get that for you for the llc i'm going to help you to set that up for the US bank account, you can use Pioneer or I can set up a business account for you that is attached to your LLC. Now for the valid um, ID card or passport, for the valid ID slash passport, you can get that done yourself. You just need driving license or passport. Then for the bank statement, you have to get that yourself. So for me, the job I'm going to be doing for you is that to help you get your EIN and your LLC for this U, uh, US address I'm going to provide you with the company that is going to register the address for you for you to get the address basically because you are going to need to do a personal verification so and I cannot do that for you 
you are the director of the company, you are the one that's supposed to do the verification. But for the EIN and to set up the US LLC, I'm going to set that for you. Now, if you want me to set this up for you, what you want to do right now is to go to the description of this video and you are going to find a link there. So the link is going to redirect you to this page. So um, you can read through here or you can just come here to get started. So you can see from here, this is our pricing. All right. So if you want to set up a Stripe account, and you, you want us to set everything up for you so you can come here you can see this basic this basis is for if you want to set up a uk stripe account all right understand so if you want to set up a uk stripe account we are going to help you to set up the uh a company we are going to help you to set up a company first at um london and we are going to help you to register your business your business address because for you to run a business in uk you need a uk business address so we're going to help you to get the address it's going to be free for the first year so after that first year you're going to be paying 55 pound per year so just keep this in mind then we're going to send you the company certificate then all other business documents will be delivered to your email then we're going to help you to set up a uk stripe account and we're also going to help you to set up a uk wise account so that uk wise account is what you are going the business wise account is what you are going to connect to your um, UK Stripe account. Now, what most people usually ask me is that can UK Stripe account receive payment from a US payment? So the answer is yes, you can actually use UK Stripe account to receive payment from anywhere in the world, US or Euro, any currency at all. So for you to get that, it's going to cost you more than $90. Now, this is, uh, if you want to set up a US company, just like the way I show you in this video, and you want us to set it up for you so we set it up in any of these two states which is kentucky and new mexico so any of these two states we are going to help you to set it up after the registration you are going to get your u.s company formation that is your u.s company document then you are going to get a register address a register agent service which usually costs um uh, 149 dollars per year but you are going to get it for free for the first one year then after that, we are going to provide you with the operational agreement and the EI number. And then we are going to help you to um, set up your business uh, bank account, which is, is going to be with WISE or you can also use Pioneer personal account. Then we are going to help you to set up your US Stripe account. Now, there's another thing you have to keep in mind here, which is the address you are going to use for set up your company initially it was supposed to be included there then we uh, were supposed to add the price right here but because of the process you have to go through to get that address we cannot do the personal verification for you unlike this uk address we can do it for you because there is no further um, verification needed but for you to get a us um, virtual business address you need for that verification and you are the only one that can do it so once you sign up for this package we are going to send you the address service we use it costs between um 10 to 15 dollars or more by month and you can subscribe for the annual so we usually ad advise our clients to subscribe for the yearly plan so that you have enough you have 12 months before you think of paying for another address service but if you are on a budget you can actually pay for it monthly and you are good to go so this is going to cost you about 200 dollars for you to use this service now the last one here is the the llc stripe bank and shopify store so if you want to use this for shopify store and you don't want to create the shopify store yourself you want us to set up it everything up for you then we can actually set it up for you and also help you to set up your stripe account help you to set up your business bank account and everything and this is going to cost you about 300 dollars so now, if you want to go for any of this service and uh, you want us to do this for you, you can just click any of this. Then let me just click on this. Let us assume you want to click, go for this one. Then you are going to see this form. Just fill this form. And once you submit the form, then you are going to be redirected to our WhatsApp where we are going to finalize the um, deal. Then we can start working on your company. Whether you choose the UK company setup or you choose the US company setup. Basically, that is everything we are going to cover in this video and I hope you find this video helpful. I hope you find this video valuable. If you find this video helpful, kindly give this video a thumbs up so that more people like you can get to see this video. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe to this channel. Turn on the bell notification so that anytime I drop a new video just like this, you'll be among the first people to be notified.